unveiled the Fire Phone. So the biggest whiz -bang feature on the Fire Phone is dynamic perspective, which isn't as gimmicky as 3D, but it does enable some neat features. You can sort of peek around the corners of things. It allows you to do tilt scrolling in the browser and in eBooks. So that's what you see on the 720p screen, and it's run by having four cameras in each corner that actually tracks your head in space. Beyond that, it's a relatively standard Android smartphone. It's got a home button. It's got Gorilla Glass on the front and on the back, where we've also got a 13 megapixel camera rubberized sides, stereo speakers, and a dedicated uh, button on the side which can launch the camera, or if you hold it down, it launches this feature called Firefly. Now Firefly is pretty cool. You can stick anything in front of it and it'll automatically detect it and tell you what it is, and then you can slide up and do stuff with it. And since it's Amazon, the thing you're gonna to wanna to do with a lot of it is buy it. So you can go right in there, you can buy it, you can start radio stations with it with third-party apps and whatever else. Uh, some of the other features here, if we look at this display perspective stuff, you can see when I tilt the phone, it starts <laughs> popping up information from Yelp on the different restaurants. And I can actually just move my head to have that stuff appear too instead of just tilting the phone. That's pretty neat. So the dynamic perspective stuff also comes into play in games. So while you're looking at a game, you can actually peek around the level to sort of get a sense of what you're going to need to do when you start running around the screen. A few of the other features on the device, if you give it a quick shake over, it'll jump you into notification settings where you can also start Mayday, which is instant uh, video chat help from Amazon's customer service. And it also is instant help from AT&T's customer service, which is great because AT&T's customer service really isn't. There's also neat little panels. There's a universal notification or navigation thing on this side. And these panels here, you've got weather and other, other bits of information on this side. Uh, and overall, the phone, it feels a little bit thick, but uh, it, the screen looks great despite the fact that it's almost only 720p. It feels really sturdy despite the fact that it's glass on the front and the back. The rubberized sides really help you grip it. And overall, it's, uh, it's a pretty straightforward kind of Android phone. There's some neat features. Uh, it's got really big, blocky graphics here. But uh, it's, it's, you know, if you love Amazon, you might like this phone. Otherwise, you might be looking for something a little bit more powerful. It's available exclusively on AT&T. It's $199 on contract, or you can also get it with Next for, I think, $27 a month. And for right now, Amazon is also giving you a free year of Prime, which is worth $100.